What do you think is the difference between a blue hole and a red hole? Like, is the red hole sore? Whoa. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I don't think there's enough hemorrhoid cream in the universe to save America from that one. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Solar Smash, that game where we don't believe in Flat Earth, okay? I, I know you're looking at it right now, but trust me, this is the old, busted, boomer conspiracy. You know, we're all about Donut Earth. That's the fresh new hotness. You know, every millennial and Gen Z is well aware that the only reason it snows so much in Canada and Russia is because the government doesn't want people to be able to look up and see each other. I mean, if the Earth was anything other than a donut, would you be able to do something like this? Eight ball corner pocket. Oh, my aim is just a touch off. <laughs> um, I mean, it's it's not the end of the world, literally and, and figuratively. I, I just kind of kissed Russia, which is, I, I think, a, a cost cutting measure when you really think about it. I'm willing to bet that the government realized Nuclear missiles, they cost way too much. We could just paint the moon and hurl it at the Soviets. Oh, I, I think I got a little bit too much of Europe there and Australia, who would be on the other side, wouldn't it? <laughs> Why do I get the feeling North Korea has a better chance of getting into NATO now than I do? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's happening? Why, why are you coming back for more? Yeah, we'll just take out Canada for good measure. That wasn't even me! <laughs> come on, gravity isn't real. Why are you coming back at- Oh, come on, it's South America. <laughs> I hit everywhere except for the USA, but because I got a little ball happy, I, I guess that just kind of toasts the whole world. Great. Now, some of you guys already know, the truth doesn't come for free around here. Or at least not anymore. It used to be that when Solar Smash got an update, we would get all the cool new things right away. But now, we have achievements that give us experience so that we can level up and earn all of the cool new stuff. And I'm pretty sure there's a really big achievement for leaving exactly 1,337,000,000 people alive. The Earth needs elite population. I'm hoping that doesn't need to be too exact. Like, I, I could try to be precise about this and go in with something like a nuclear missile or maybe a laser. But to be perfectly honest, I kind of just want to release a swarm of Minecraft bees onto Florida. <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. This isn't even the worst thing to happen to Florida this week. Ooh. Uh, actually... Uh, guys, I, I wanted chaos, but th there has to be an Earth left behind for the elite population. Okay. You know what? That actually wasn't too bad. I, I mean, don't get me wrong. The rest of America is going to have a whole lot of square B-shaped memorials moving forward, but... Oh, no. I only killed 320 million people. I'm going to need a lot more bees. I think if I freeze time, I should be able to pick out a whole bunch of targets and then release all of the swarms at once. There we go. <laughs> I'm sure the Earth will be able to hold. Come on, Earth, you got this. This is just a couple of really blocky insects. You know what? Not bad. They didn't go after the moon. That's important. And I've got 1,999,000,000 left. Yeah, I don't think the bees are gonna be able to get this done. I've always considered myself a bit of a proctologist, you know? I, I can go down under and get the job done. Gotta be really careful. Apparently, nobody lived where I just shot, excuse me? <gasps> uh... Is Australia just a giant wasteland? Am I, am I just like ruining a bunch of kangaroos and koalas day? But oh, oh, wait, there we go. Okay, we found some. There it is. We killed like 20 million people. What the hell? Okay, um, I guess we're gonna have to find somewhere else to clown. Oh, India. 
That's a bit, there we go, that's, that's a millions of people. Okay, it's hard to tell the bees made things messy. Oh, I gotta be really careful. Okay, um, where is there not many people? Crap, uh, oh wait, 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 here, I think that might be, is that Hawaii? It's so hard to tell. Okay, that, that was another couple million. I don't want to have to start over again. I'm just gonna start blasting islands. I assume every island's got at least, oh, some people, crap, you gotta be kidding me. Um, oh, where would one million people live? You got, uh, maybe like up here? No? No, no, the Northern Territories in Canada aren't quite cutting it. I'm just seeing little lights that are on and, and boop. No, come on. Come on, work with me. I'm just gonna keep sweeping because I'm probably killing like hundreds of thousands of people right now and the, the ticker isn't just rolling over quite yet. Actually, who am I kidding? Nobody's alive up here in the B zone. <laughs> Maybe like here? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. How is this possible? Oh, I hadn't realized we've got a new laser. It's like a dark matter laser? Yeah, I'll give that a try. We're gonna start off this time with India and China. And it's not a race thing, okay? It's a numbers thing. I'm pretty sure half of the Earth's population lives over here, so I should be able to thin the herd very quickly. I'm not gonna touch Japan, though because the elite survivors are gonna need to be consoled by anime titties. Trust me, I'm, I'm thinking of what's best for those who live. Well, this is definitely a whole lot more precise, but it wasn't even half of the population. Maybe we should get rid of, this entire half of the planet can go in all reality. We can't leave Europe, because like, God knows if there's a bunch of empty land left over once we're done, we can't have people fighting over it. <laughs> and, uh, uh, maybe the Middle East too? Uh, George Bush said that they had weapons of mass destruction. He wouldn't lie, would he? It really says something about this YouTube channel when I find myself in the position of once again needing to kill about 23 million people. I, I'm gonna have to go with somewhere that I'm more comfortable with the demographics, you know? Like if I kill Newfoundland, that doesn't even register. Got it, okay. Uh, you know what, nobody would miss Quebec. There, there can't be that many of them. Again, didn't even register. Okay, we're gonna work our way through the north. Yeah, this is like low numbers. Low numbers is exactly what I want. Wide open land. We're keep moving further and further south through Canada. I know there's like, wait, is there exactly 33 million people in Canada? So this might be perfect. I just gotta make sure not to bleed into America and we should be fine. Uh, sorry, Canada, we, we almost made it. Come on, careful, careful. Oh, that's getting a little bit close. I hate this. Why, why is nobody dying? Why is nobody dying? I'm blowing up the border between Canada and America. I know there's a lot of people here. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh-huh. I'm just gonna start feathering it. Just a million at a time. That's what I like to see. Come on, come on. Oh. Oh no, oh no. Uh, maybe the Atlantic provinces? No. Come on, oh, 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 oh. I swear to God, if this goes down by two million. Oh, okay. Nobody move, what do I do now? Do I reset? Do, do I let them make the bee memorials now? I didn't think this far, this took like an hour. Um, oh crap, 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 oh, Jesus Christ, don't, do I'm trying to rotate the earth, merciful. Okay, luckily there's nobody lives in the ocean. <laughs> yeah, we're looking good, uh-huh, uh-huh, um, I'm just gonna reset. I think I need to reset. Yes! <laughs> oh, we leveled up, we got the achievement. We unlocked a, a Giga Chad ghost? What the hell is that? We've always had this big space ghost, but yeah, now he's looking quite a bit more muscular, I suppose. Oh my god, it is Giga Chat! <laughs> I, I really don't like the fact that he doesn't have any clothes on. It makes me uncomfortable. Oh my god! 
No, no, I, I take it back. I don't feel uncomfortable. I don't feel anything anymore. What? He's so much stronger. He actually is a total Chad. That's ridiculous. He's got the six pack and everything. Oh yeah, it reaches real deep and that's absurd. All right, well, um, we've turned the earth into mostly space dingleberries, but uh, there's still a little bit left in the middle. Oh, never mind, everyone's dead. This isn't the first time we've been surprised by a giant meme in space, oddly enough. I think last time we unlocked the horny doge bonk. And I love that too, but I, I think we just got something else. Oh, it was a shield, yeah. Okay, so what's different about you? Are you bigger, stronger? Okay, definitely bigger, right? The blue shield was just kind of teeny weeny, right? That's nothing compared to the new beefy boy shield. Can we use this to protect against horny space doges? We can, genius. I don't think it's really a stretch to say that I've been doing more harm than good so far this episode, so how about we do something to help the world for once? I mean, I I'm gonna release a, a dangerous planet-eating worm, but I'm also going to save the world from it. I, I just gotta kind of dissect it a little bit. Di di dissect it a little, oh boy, um. That's not good. What? I can't. Why am I not dissecting? It's not working. It's ignoring. Maybe if I if I use the the positive, no, the negative and the positive don't work. What if I just cut it? Like, ah, 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 ah. the lightsabers are doing nothing. What about the dark saber? <laughs> no, I'm making things worse. <laughs> Why, why can't I dissect the worm? That's an achievement. How dare you completely ignore my RGB lightsaber and leave me with this. I, I really tried, guys. Like, I want to level up. I want to finish the achievements. But the thing is, the achievements are, are, aren't even like a, a quest laid out for you. They're secret. You got to Google this stuff. And for all I know, but people on the internet wouldn't lie, would they? We just unlocked a new shield, so how about we actually protect the Earth before I endanger the Earth to then protect the Earth? You know what I'm saying? Like, if I release the worm, and then I, um... Uh, you just bounce off that and hang out, okay? I, I gotta figure out... Uh, no, don't come back. I, I gotta figure out what... Uh, uh, missiles! Fire the missiles! Fire all of the missiles! All of the nuclear missiles! Fire at the... Worm? Nukes do nothing to the worm. It's like throwing pebbles at a tank. They also don't do anything against the shield, except for go around it. <gasps> oh, I'm just having one of those days. Okay, I've got a couple of last ditch efforts. The first is to release another shield. Maybe the shield will, okay, maybe the, maybe the shield, oh, Jesus Christ, it blew up the shield. Maybe the shield will open up and like cut it. Yes! Genius! I was also gonna try like the drill and stuff like that, but yeah, if the shield opens inside the worm, then clearly something is gonna have to give. We leveled up, we got uh, a, a danger rainbow? Of course, the three types of energy, light energy, dark energy, and pride energy. I'm sure that, oh, it sounds terrible. And it's so much stronger. Also, the irony that I just wiped out China using pride energy hasn't been lost on me, trust me. <laughs> Can I maybe vaporize the moon? Yup. Wow, that, that was really easy. I see how it is. You dissect one giant space worm and now all of a sudden they go releasing the mecha version, I guess. This thing definitely looks a whole lot less dissectable. I, I, I always click on Florida and I don't mean to pick on them because God knows it's like picking on the slow kids, but it, it's just at the center of the planet. It, it's so conveniently right there and, oh, that's interesting. 
I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to hear that. I might be able to like turn it up a little bit in post, but I can distinctly hear like chewing noises, I guess, as it burrows its way in and out of the world. So it's very similar to the normal worm, just way cooler looking, I guess. Can you please come out? I wanna get a, a look at your face or lack thereof, he might need a second or two to fill up. Now might be a good time to remind you guys that this is your last chance to get the Captain Sauce Plush, CaptainSaucePlush.com. It's only available for a limited time, and I think this will be your last reminder. I'm not gonna have another video up before it uh, finally stops being sold. Oh yeah, that is really cool. <laughs> I wanna kill it now though, yeah. Can I, uh, let's just try the shield, right? The shield worked before, let's try it again. This time I'll play it smart, so I'll release it over the ocean. Can't say that I'm picking on anybody now. And then, uh, actually I gotta release the shield like over here-ish. I don't want this thing rubbing up against it. I don't think this is gonna work. I get the feeling the shield will break. Oh! Not only did it work, but the inside of this thing is, you, you can see that it was like glowing. It, it's got like a, a mechanical spine. You can see it protruding there. Why would they put so much detail into a stupid little space worm? <laughs> That's really cool. I mean, once again, he's gonna go for a nice long meal. You know, uh, not as long as before, considering his current length, but still, that's awesome. I gotta say, that's probably one of the coolest things we've unlocked yet. What do you think is the difference between a blue hole and a red hole? Like, is the red hole sore? Whoa. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I don't think there's enough hemorrhoid cream in the universe to save America from that one. <gasps> Holy crap. I mean, the Earth is still chugging along, but uh, I, I would imagine that's gotta screw up something. That was so cool looking. I kinda wanna keep opening them until I can get to the middle, maybe have the whole world sucked into it. It's definitely making a whole lot of interesting space dingleberries as usual, but we're getting towards the middle we have to be. Oh no, we're, we're well past the middle. We're coming out on the other side. That's, black holes are so freaking cool and scary and multiplying apparently, because yeah, it turned the world into a hole in its own. Huh. I swear to God, if the internet is trolling me right now, I'm, I'm gonna be mad. We've come to the robo alien world. I don't know, the big standout about it is that it uh, has a shield, which you can very barely see because I'm not doing a whole lot of damage because I'm throwing snowballs at it, which I apparently have to do, so, I need to break the shield using snowballs and then kill the planet, which isn't gonna work this way, so I'm thinking auto clicker? I think this is the third time the shield has gone down. I'm now pelting the side of the planet. I was pelting the side of the planet. Has this done literally anything? Well, I made part of the robot planet cold. I don't think that's quite what I'm going for here. All I wanted to do was bring a little Christmas cheer to some soulless hump machines, but apparently that's gonna be harder than it looks. So, okay, open up and then snowballs, snowballs. Yeah! <laughs> we just needed a little bit of rainbow. That's, that's all it takes. Now, what did that do for me? You have got to be kidding me. It's a snow globe world. I'm gonna throw a rock at it because honestly that just kind of pisses me off. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's not a force field, it, it is glass. I would imagine glass would have a hard time stopping a moon. Get in there moon, you've got this. Oh. That's stronger glass than you'd think. Okay, maybe a bunch of little rocks. You know what? I'm kind of impressed so far. All right. I want to shake it up because I'm, I'm pretty sure that you can actually get all the light in the bottom to like sprinkle around maybe, but I gotta do this carefully. What if I drill? Do something like, yeah, there we go. It's scientific endeavor. We're gonna drill through the glass and then out the other side and maybe not shatter the whole thing. 
Can I go with like a precise little hole? Maybe? Possibly? Or or it could have like no effect at all? That That's a thing too. Okay, well, well that works away. I, I, let's get a, a satellite in there. That should... That's a lot of glass. Oh, now, now the satellite's gonna wreak havoc on our poor little Christmas tree. Oh, it gets back. Well, I'll be damned. Wait, oh, oh! I, I popped the presents. There was stuff inside the presents, like a swarm of space locusts. <laughs> cool. Oh, yeah, suck it, Christmas. That feels real good. Well, we clearly need to finish things off by blowing up the star at the top. It's a literal star, too, like, like trapped inside of a Dyson sphere. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if I hit it once, it should just... No? Oh wow, okay, yeah, the, the globe is just not messing around. Hold on. Ever there we go, and goodbye. I took off the top half of the tree, too. So now the globe doesn't respawn? Right, and I'm just free to ruin all the Christmas, all the intergalactic grinching that I want? Okay, I, I feel like we accomplished something here today. Not sure what, but something. All right, if you know what I think, that's gonna be it for this episode of Solar Smash, guys. Whole bunch of secrets unlocked, but I'm sure there are more. I'm having trouble figuring out what they are, though. So, as always, leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see. If you want to see more Solar Smash, leave a like, and then maybe I'll return to ruin intergalactic Christmas again soon. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.